make mistakes just like them. First of all, I credit all my supporters out there, the real ones, because they are the ones that watch the videos from front to back, and they are the ones that put some videos in, in the algorithm and make them do what they do and build this, this whole little thing we call, you know, this channel. But it's all about just being real, being authentic, being yourself. You know, every time you talk, speak from the heart. That's all it is. And just being a human being. Everyone just doesn't want to be a human being nowadays. Like, don't, don't people turn on cheese. that camera, and they are... <laughs> people turn on that camera, brother, and they automatically try to be Arsenio Hall. Like, be yourself. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't get it, man. Don't, don't I don't forget, get it. Don't, don't forget the cheese, man, because that, that, that smile... Shing! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I do that. I just... Man, I just try to stay positive, man. Like, like people always say, why do you smile so much? What am I supposed to do? Frown all day? When you smile, it's contagious. Positive energy is very contagious. I'm smiling, and I'm happy, and I'm just being myself. Then other people, that makes other people's day happier, you know, or better. So that's why I do that stuff, man. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. You know? Up. All right. So, Bobby, man. Yo, one, you... one more thing, too. Go ahead. One more thing, too. And this, is, this is another reason why I smile so much. I've been to a lot of truck a lot of truck stops since being a truck driver, and every truck I see is never smiling. Everyone's just always mad. Mean they mugging. got a frown. They say they're just so serious. This me mugging, like, bro, are you not happy to be a truck driver? So when I when I get on live and I and I see these people, some of my supporters in real life, I smile and I'm always happy like that because we need more of that in this industry. People are just so mad all the time. All right, so you uh, so well, so you're not so right here. You're you're not done with trucking per se. You just pretty much nah. don't. You you just pretty much don't want to do OTR trucking no more. Nah, I'm definitely not done with trucking. That last video I made was not a I quit video. That was a video literally trying to teach people that you need to know what you want before you get in this industry or it's going to cause a lot of friction in your life. I, I, that, I thought that video was giving people game. Like, I know what my core values are. My core values are to be creative. It's my family and it's my um, my health. And every one of those core values was being neglected when I was doing OTR. When I was doing regional, I was able to, to successfully attend every week and every month to those three core values and I was a happier person. When I started noticing when I was doing OTR, I started being angry. Me and my girlfriend started like kind of like going at it because my energy was bad and all that. People were like, oh, you just stopped doing OTR because of your girl. No, it wasn't that. It's just not what I want to do. And that's the great thing about trucking and all, the trucking industry, the whole transportation industry. It's so many genres of trucking that you can do. You don't have to just do OTR. You don't have to just do, you know, regional. Maybe you need to get your OTR experience before you do local and all that. But here's the thing. I even have local companies reaching out to me in my email talking about, hey, we know it's your video. We, we know you don't got a, a, you know, a whole full year of experience, but we'll be willing to take you in. So the trajectory for me isn't the trajectory for everybody else. And here's another thing I want to say to you, too. I know we're getting, we're getting ready to wrap this, off, wrap this up. I didn't get into trucking for the money. My saying is I got into trucking for three things, the experience, the content, and the money. The money is the last on that list. My life is not the same as everybody else. I'm for only my monthly obligations is only fifteen dollars a month. Some people got an obligation of two, three, four thousand dollars in liabilities. I can make little money and be happy and still be able to save money up to do the things I want to do. Some people they have to stay out there for months at a time. They have to do that. I don't have to do that. And that's why I always tell people you need to pick your poison. What's good for you? isn't what's good for everybody else. What company should I go to? No, I'm not going to tell you to go to a company. You pick what company you want to pick based off of your research, and if that company works for you, it works for you. Don't ever rely on another man or woman opinion on what you should do with your own life. Now, as far as your, as far as your core values goes, man, and, I, and again, I feel you on your core values, but to break down each one, you, 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 the, the, the family dynamics – in trucking, uh -huh. truck, trucking has broken up many families, bro. Exactly. I, you know, yo, I mean, you know, you already said it yourself that the energy was changing between you and your girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? So right. in trucking with family, your family got to be supportive of you being in trucking because if it ain't no support there, then, yeah, it's going to be a problem. Trucking, right. man, trucking 
got fam uh got got husband and wives divorced, bro. You know what I'm right. saying? You know, trucking trucking is is definitely is when it comes to the family, core family, yeah, trucking is gonna is is gonna put is, is gonna put some deviation in that. Especially if your family right. ain't strong, bro. You know, so Man. you know, that's that's one that's one thing. That's one thing. The health. Now, as far as health, you know, because me and my man TBE, we just got finished talking about truckers' health. Because that's you my know, dog. I you know, love we, him. You know, we uh yeah. you know, my guy, uh my guy, a trucker named Jay just lost his life for, uh because of health issues. But yeah, listen, I, I seen that, man. I, I know you said See, that, health. I I know you now listen, I know you said something about health, man, but there is <laughs> there is things that you can do to stay healthy out on the truck. You see what I'm saying? Kettlebells, mm -hmm. run around, jumping jacks, jump rope, all kinds of stuff. Now, as far as eating goes, yeah, that that might be a little bit a little bit problematic. <laughs> that might be a little bit problematic, but that's a workaround too. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's a workaround too. And then your last core right. value, your last core value, man. You said uh, creativity. Uh, all I'm just gonna say from my experience, bruh, there's not enough time in the day. To to, to back then, at all. back then when I was doing when I was doing the 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 creative videos, the music, the the transitions, yeah. It, it, it would take it would take me a full day to to, to edit a ten minute video, man, and I, I and I couldn't do it. That's why that's why my platform is what it is now. But I'm I'm just saying that your core values is your core values, but other people right. is going to see that your core values is an excuse that you're using, right? It's, I mean, everyone's core values is different. Like, for instance, when I go to truck stops, I literally see some people praying on floor mats. Now, who would a trucking company be and say, you know what, we need you to get you to, we need to, uh, you praying four or five times a day, we need you to uh, pay up and get that load there. That's going to cause friction because religion is one of their core values. I had a person literally just tell me today, I like working out four to five times a week, and it's hard for me to do that on OTR. You know why? And so I'm local. I had a woman literally tell me the other day, Hey, I really admire and respect what you said about the OTR and all that. I literally had a husband who decided to get into trucking and do OTR. And although he made a good living for us, we're no longer together and he doesn't know his kids. Yeah, he got some money, but we're no longer together and me and him barely even speak anymore. So you got to decide what it is that's important to you. I, I don't care about what people think about, about my core values because they're my core values. Mm -hmm. I would never tell another man who who values his family or who values spending quality time with his wife or someone who values their health. Like trucking with Jay, for instance, I'm sure, you know, health was a core value of his. You know, I'm sure that he, he really put a lot of importance on staying healthy. That's someone's core values. And all I'm saying is it doesn't matter what my core values is. You just need to know what's important to you so that there won't be friction because when it's friction, that's when people quit. You know what I'm saying? When I was doing regional, I didn't have none of that friction. None of that. I was able to do it each and everything I want to do each and every day while still doing truck driving. You know what I'm saying? So, again, you have to pick what's good for you and what's good for me may not be for, you know, good for you. And, and if it's not good for you, that's perfectly fine. I don't have to do trucking once again how everybody else does trucking. Everyone just thinks that it's this Bible for trucking that everyone has to do, or, like, act accordingly. No, like, you have your own life. You worked your butt off to get your CDL. So do what you want to do, you know, and, you know, do what you want to do. Well, there's, <laughs> that's, there's that's, different, probably, that's all I can say, man. There's there's different outlets, bro. And uh, and I, I would like to say thank you for your time. I really do appreciate it. Everybody know the best conversation starts here on the Lockout Man podcast right. show. But I, I, right. I definitely, uh, I definitely, uh, appreciate you coming over giving me the opportunity to talk to you and everything and 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 just to show you that it's all love bro it's all love Most you know definitely. what i'm saying it's no like i said it's definitely no shade or no ill intentions or ill wills or anything like that 
But as far as trucking, there's a lot of there, there's a lot of diversity in trucking, not just the not just the semi truck. See, that's what everybody get the blinders put on at. They just think when they get their CDL, they have to hurry up and jump in a semi truck. No, it's not that. Right. You still got you you got you got construction. You got right. You you got the you got the art garbage well, trucks. You got Dump garbage trucks. trucks. Dump trucks. You got buses. You got public transportation. You know what I'm saying? Right. My my brother in law. You know my brother in law called me up and he was like, "Yo, lockout. How? You know, talk to me. You know about the CDL and all like that." And I explained to him and all. I explained everything to him, but he surprised me by saying, "Yo, I got my um, I got my I got my class B." Uh, like I, I was like, what? I said, did you pay for it? That's he, was, what I'm saying. he was like, he was like, no. Nah. I went to, I went to the RTA, the public transportation. They got, they, 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 they trained me, and I got my class B, and I right. went for the RTA. So there's a lot of divisions. Nice. There's a lot of divisions with trucking. So, you know, that's why I was saying, as for you, it may not be the semi. It may not be the right. semi. You know what I'm saying? So for you know for you it might be construction. Next thing you know you'll come come back on another video like yo I work for um uh, I work for ABC Construction Company and everybody will be like oh okay <laughs> you, right. you, you, moving, you, <laughs> you 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 showing people that you driving one of them uh, cranes and shit. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Hey that's that's the best thing that's that's the best thing about it, man. When you get that class A, you can do anything you want to do, man. For everyone who's listening right now, don't let nobody in this industry try to box you into what you uh, how you should be doing things. Like, don't let nobody tell you what you should be wearing. Like, I be having a lot of people. Like, for instance, sometimes I like driving with my sandals on. I don't like. I try driving uh, with boots on uh, for eleven yeah, hours a day. Okay, it's hard. Okay, but it's you, hard. You, you 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 you, you know. You know, you know you're not a real truck driver if you ran flip flops, my G. I'm just saying, just saying. I'm dead. <laughs> but that's like that's like saying that's like saying I'm not a real truck driver if I don't piss in bottles. Like that's what people don't people don't say stuff like that. If I was to say, you know what, I've never peed in a in a water bottle in my life, and I have to stop at rest stops every time I need to use the restroom. Someone would say something about that. So you can never win. You know what I'm saying? You got to do what you're going to do and be happy in your own life and in your truck driving career. Well, listen, I'm going to tell you this. I'm, I'm going to tell you this, young <laughs> boy. Don't stop wearing flip flops. <laughs> well, in the truck, maybe in the truck, okay. Okay, I get you in the truck, but man, all that motherfucking piss, diesel, doll shit, all that <laughs> stuff on the ground, bruh. And you walking hey, around, you walking around with sandals on, man. Come on now. Here's the thing, though, Lockout. Listen, li listen to me, though. Half the time, I don't even wear sandals when I'm getting out of my truck. Okay, you better not on be. I know it's going to be trolls. We I know I put them sandals on because I know the second I show my feet, it's going to be a thousand people saying, you shouldn't be wearing sandals, and that's going to make that channel grow even that yeah, you better, you better not get out, man. You better not get out the damn truck with no motherfucker. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yes, you did. No, you you just you, you just lied. Yes, you did because you did a video. You did a short. You just you did a short, and I wanted I, I wanted to. I'm glad I just remembered this shit before we got out of here. Go ahead. You did you did a short when you had to go and do uh you had to go Mechanic. to loves yeah. Bro. Yeah. Uh-huh. Bro. And number, guess what I number, did. Guess, number, guess what, what I was oh, thinking. Hold up. Number one. Go ahead. Number one. How? I, I don't even understand why the mechanics even let your ass down there with flip-flops <laughs> on, bro. <laughs> the hell? Where, hey, where, where, where were you, where, you? Where were you when all that was going on, man? Where was that? I think that was... That was Illinois, I think. Yeah, that was that was on my way to Chicago. Yeah. Okay. So, uh -huh. so he called you down. He called you down there, and you went down in a danger area too, with no with no shoes on. So here's the thing: that mechanic was actually a student. He was a student himself. He wasn't like an experienced mechanic. He was learning the rope. And um, you know, I was like, you know, why not? If he ain't tripping about it, then let me. He, it ain't like he said, "Hey, you need to get the f up out of here." 
Nah, he was like, hey, bro, come down here. This is how we this is how we change the filters. And what I did is I, I know, see, this is the thing about trucking. Whenever you want to generate buzz for a channel or you want to make people, like, just generate a lot of, like, like interest in your channel, you have to go against sometimes, like, tradition. And I knew if I was to show my feet in that video, I knew people were going to say stuff and it was going to generate. I, sometimes I troll. People troll me all the time. So I troll. I knew dang well you're not supposed to be up in a place in those freaking channels on where it's oil, gasoline. Come on now. Like, I knew better than that. But sometimes I do things to tro troll what I call the super truckers because they be on my case, so I'm going to make sure I'm on their case from time to time. I'm a little petty, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, next time, man, it, it's all lessons. So next time, don't take your ass yeah, down. Yeah, don't don't take your ass down there with no damn shoes on, bro. No 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 flip flops. I got you, dog. <laughs> no flip flops. Your ass gonna be on bone. You. Your ass gonna be on bonehead truckers, and you gonna talk about them flip flops oh, right there. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead, man. Nah, man. I just I just be having fun, man. Like I be I'm young, man. I just be having fun. Like I know I know I'm not gonna make everybody happy. I know it's a lot of people that take this industry very very seriously. I'm not trying to. You know, I'm not trying to put what they have done in this industry down. Like, I really commend all you guys for doing this stuff for years and putting in that work. I would never be disrespectful, like, intentionally. Here's the thing, though. I think sometimes with they, what I call these super truckers, they be thinking that they can talk to somebody like me any type of way, and I'm non-confrontational. Like, I'm not going to, you know, be unprofessional on my platform and be dropping F-bombs and all that. But what I will do is I'll upload a video to troll you and make you even matter and try to make a bag off of you. So, <laughs> keep like that's that's how I operate, man. But I don't mean no disrespect to none of you guys, man. I'm just out here just having fun, man. Sometimes, you know, that's the thing about life. Sometimes you gotta live, you learn, you gotta grow. I'm growing. I'm human being like everyone else. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, Bobby. Reach everybody. Yes, yes, Bobby <laughs> R. The infamous yes, Bobby yes. Reach, man. All right, my G man. man. Like I said, it's all support, man. Every time I see, every time I see you on, I'll I'll definitely stop over there and and say what's up. You know, just show my support for your channel Appreciate and everything, it. man. Look, all I just want you to do, man, is 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 live your life, learn from learn Appreciate from it. everything that you from everything that you've done, and 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 and, and put towards put towards everything that you want to do. And again, I appreciate and, it, and again, it's just my opinion. I mean, you know, it's, it's just my <laughs> opinion. But you, you more for you, you, you more for skits, man. For anything else, you more for a showmanship than than being cooped up in the truck, bro. Right? Who knows, man? Who knows what this stuff may lead to? I don't, I don't try to you know predict the future. I live in the moment. And you know, I let I let the universe and, and the higher power guide me, man. And if it's, if that's what it what should be happening, that's gonna happen. And this is the last thing I want to say. You know, I'm a big believer in what's for you is for you. Whatever provide or whatever is giving you resistance. And I learned this, you know, from doing like the whole song thing that led me to live in my car. When I was doing that, it was so much resistance. Everything I did would not work. And then as soon as I started doing stuff in a different industry like this, I've been wanting to do this YouTube stuff. It just never worked. It was too much resistance. So whenever something's giving you resistance, that may be a sign from a higher power that that's not what you should be doing. And whenever you start doing something that doesn't give you resistance at all, that's a sign that you should be doing whatever that, that whatever it is that you are doing. But sometimes us humans, we, we, would, we would tell a higher power, you know what? That's what you said I should be doing. I, don't, I ain't supposed to be doing that. And we wonder why we have so much pain and ache in our lives. You gotta listen. And on that note, man. And that's another thing too. Oh, go ahead. That's another thing too. I listen to you guys. For all the people who are have been in this industry for years, who have put your time in, I listen to you guys. But here's the thing. When you are talking to a rookie and you're talking to someone like me, if I afford you that respect that you deserve for putting in your time, you need to afford me some respect. Don't think you can just talk to people or talk down to people any type of way. That's not a way for somebody like me to take in what you are trying to tell me and, and to really give me some game. You can't disrespect me and put me down and then offer me advice in the same sense. It don't work that way. That'll work, man. And on that note, man, okay. much success to you. Much success to your channel. And much success to you uh, going forward in whatever endeavor you do. 
Like I said, I'm looking for I'm looking forward to that uh, construction video, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, my man. All right, Bobby R, man. Like I said, you, you we 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 together, man. Anytime you need to chop chop it up with me, man. Reach out to me. You got the number, and uh, let's do it again. Let's got let's do it, man. I really enjoyed this. Uh, appreciate you for really bringing me on your platform, man, and being you know a cool person and like. You know, being who you are within your content, everyone is so much different from, like, the videos they upload. Like, they seem like this person went on their videos, then when you finally chop it up with them, it's like, bro, who are you? Like, you're not the same person, so you real, and I really appreciate that, man. Thanks no for doubt. You know, Thank you. time on here. No doubt, bro. No doubt. That's what the Lockout Men podcast show is all about, man. We all about conversation over here, and I'll give you the platform yes, to do yes. it. Got you, man. Well, hey, you stay safe out there, my brother. I will, man. And you stay safe, too. And stop wearing them damn flip-flops, bro. <laughs> I got you, bro. I got you. I got you. All right, now. <laughs>